Navy is attacking the Statue of Liberty. We can't let them get away with that. Sir, is there anything you can do? Incoming transmission. Tanya here. Listen up. We got a couple commie dreadnoughts in the harbor. Looking for a special sightseeing tour of the Hudson River. I say we give them a very special view of the bottom first. Battle control online. About uh, six months ago, I put a video on my YouTube channel which showed you how to get Command & Conquer Red Alert 2 running on the Steam Deck. It's a notoriously difficult game to, to run, not just on the Steam Deck, but also on Windows. It has many problems, uh, often resulting in black screens or graphical glitches or just sometimes not launching at all. Uh, that video that I did um, was using an old copy of the uh, Command & Conquer Decade Collection. Uh, it was an hour-long video. It took uh, a lot of steps to get it installed. It was very complicated, very frustrating. Um, it worked, and it works really well. And I actually uh, quite happily sat and finished Red Alert 2 on my Steam Deck after figuring that out. But uh, I found out there's an easier way, and so I'm sharing that with you today. So about two days ago, EA actually released the Command & Conquer collection on Steam. Uh, they didn't announce it, it just appeared, and one of my uh, YouTube commenters made me aware of this and said, am I going to do a guide for it? Uh, it was £9 to buy the collection, and that includes 17 games, which I think is great value. Uh, I was hoping that starting up Red Alert 2, it would just work, and hopefully you know, some EA had done something to help it uh, function, but no, it, it exhibits the same issue whereby the uh, it will launch, the intro will play, but when you get to the menu, it just shows a black screen. Uh, so I started looking into uh, how to fix this today and initially I thought it wasn't possible. A lot of the um, hacks that I did with the the other version involved using Lutris and Wine and a few extra files. Um, that didn't seem to be possible using a, a Steam installed version, but I'm pleased to say I have figured it out. So I'm going to share it with you uh, now and it's a lot easier. It takes a lot less time. Uh, it still requires a few... Um, manual steps and a few tricky things but it, it's not too complicated so we're gonna we're gonna go through that today um, so you're gonna need to be in desktop mode on your Steam Deck uh, recommend a mouse and keyboard or connecting remotely via something like Rust Desk which is what I use just you can do this uh, using the trackpad and touchscreen if you want to but I would say it's probably gonna take you a lot longer and it might be a little bit more difficult so yeah I recommend uh, mouse and keyboard but how you do it, it's up to you uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through this uh, from the very beginning. I have not installed any of the additional files. I've wiped everything uh, clean and start, you know, so we can start from the beginning. So as long as you follow the steps that I'm doing in this video to the letter, you should end up with the same results as me. Uh, the only thing I have done in advance is I have installed uh, Red Alert 2 and Yuri's Revenge on the Steam store uh, just to save some time, but didn't really want to have to make you sit through the... Um, and the install process, so I have to cut the video up. I'm just doing this all in, in one go. But that's already installed. That's the only thing I've done so far. So the very first thing you're going to need to do is obviously install the game. Uh, you're more than welcome to run it, but you'll find that it shows the intro and then just, you know, goes to black screen when you get to the menu, which is really frustrating. Uh, so yeah, install it. And then you're going to need to go and download uh, one file from the internet. And that file is called cncddraw.zip. Uh, I'll put the link where to find that in the description below. You just head to this uh, page and just click this here and it'll download into your downloads folder. And if we go into the downloads folder, uh, you'll see the zip there. What we want to do is you want to right click on that and just extract and extract archive here. And once those it's extracted and you've got those four files, you just you can delete the zip. We don't need that anymore. So we've got those in the downloads folder. We can leave them alone for now and we don't need them just yet. So we'll just close out of here. So after we've done that, I would recommend this. This step is optional, but I would recommend it. If we want to go to uh, Steam and find uh, Red Alert 2, we want to right click it. We want to manage and we want to go browse local files. And I would recommend going all the way down until we find a file called ra2.ini which is there and double click it to open it and at the very top here where it says intro and play equals yes I would put that to no and the reason for that is because 
the the very first time you launch Red Alert 2, the intro isn't skippable and it's quite long. Even though it's very good, it's very long. And if this isn't working for for you for some reason, or you just want to see, to, uh, you want to find out whether or not the this tutorial has worked for you, you don't really want to have to sit through the intro over and over and over again. Um, so we can just turn that off completely. You can always come back and put that back to yes if you want to see the intro again, but I think you can launch it from the menu anyway. Uh, but yeah, just set that to no and then hit save and just close that file. Um, and once we've done that, we can, this is the uh, main Red Alert 2 folder. We're going to be spending a lot of time in here. You can minimize that, um, but if you ever fail to get back into it, you can just, if you ever close it by accident, I mean, you can just right click, go to manage, and browse local files and it, it'll take you straight back there. So we'll just minimize that out of the way for now. The next thing you want to do is you want to open the Discover Store. And we want to search for an app called Proton Tricks, which is this one here. Once you find it, just hit the install button. I've already got it installed. Just, uh, just install that. And once it's installed, we want to open that application. So we go down to the launcher, uh, all applications, you can scroll to it, or you can just type Proton Tricks in the top here and open it. Um, because I've already got it installed, it opens quite quickly for me. It might You might find there's a bit of delay before it opens for you. Just be patient with it. It sometimes looks like it's not doing anything at all, but it really is. Once it's open, you should have a list of pretty much all the games you've got uh, installed on your Steam Deck. I haven't got many at the moment. Um, and you want to find Command and Conquer Red Alert 2 and just click OK. And it will again look like it's not doing anything. But it will open, I promise. There we go. And once it opens, um, I'm not sure what yours will settle on when it's open, but we want to select the default wine prefix. So make sure that's checked and click OK. And on the next page, we want to install a Windows DLL or component. So we want to tick that and click OK. And you will get up this list uh, of lots of different things. We want to ignore most of them. What we want to do is we want to find the one called cnc underscore d draw and click o click that and click OK. And it will sit and think about it for a little while. And this can take you know anywhere from two seconds to 20 seconds. Just be patient. Once it's done, you will uh, you, it will bring this window up again. All you do is you just hit cancel and it's done. And you cancel that one and come out of it. So we're done with Proton Trick. So that's that step done. So we want to then head back to our Red Alert 2 folder. Um, again, you can access it via Steam and right click if you've closed it by accident, but we want to go back to our Red Alert 2 folder. And then we want to open a new Dolphin window. So we can right click here and hit um, open new window. And we want to head to the downloads folder where we have those four files that we extracted earlier. And we want to move them over to here. Actually, what we'll do is we'll, we'll right click them, we'll select all of them, and then we'll right click and we'll hit copy, and then we'll right click into this folder and we'll hit paste. And you'll get this warning pop up saying file already exists. And you just want to leave everything it is and hit overwrite. And that's done. And then if you don't want these files in your download folder anymore, you can just delete them because we don't need them. And we can close that. And back in our Red Alert 2 folder, we want to scroll down until we find this file here called cncdrawconfig.exe. And we want to right click that and we want to hit add to Steam. And once the little bouncing icon has gone away, we want to open up Steam. And you'll see in your list of games, you now have that CNC ddraw config.exe. We want to right click that and we want to go to properties and we want to go to compatibility and we want to tick this force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. And then in the list here, we want to choose Proton Experimental and then just close the window and then we want to play it. It'll take a little while for it to open. 
And when it does, you'll have this little pop-up box in the in the first instance that says, CNC D draw requires a DLL override config and wine config. Would you like to add it now? Just hit yes. And then we want to start working through all these options. So we'll start at the top here on display settings, which is the first screen. And we want to make sure under presentation, it's set to full screen. We want to switch on maintain aspect ratio. And then all of these should be left as they are. Under advanced settings, we want to, under renderer, change that to GDI. And then everything else can be left as it is. Hotkey settings, we don't need to do anything with. And compatibility settings, all of these should be unchecked and that should be left as it is. So we should leave that alone. Let's run through that again. So display settings, full screen, and these options. Render is GDI and these options and compatibility settings is like this. And then once we've done that, we can just close it. Then we need to go back into our Red Alert 2 folder. Again, you can right click and go manage and browse local files, but I've already got it open down here. And we want to find a file called ddraw.ini or .ini, whichever you prefer. And we want to double click it to open it. And we don't need to change too much in here, but starting from the top, we need to go down until we find full screen and we need to change false to true. And under wi for windows, we need to change that to true. And then if we scroll down slowly, eventually we will find an option called resolutions and we need to change that to two. And then we just hit the save button at the top and we can close it. And we're now done with this folder, so we can now close the folder. And we also no longer need this uh, option in Steam, so we can just right click that and we can hit manage, remove non-Steam game from your library. So that's all nice and tidy. And then we wanna go to our Command & Conquer Red Alert 2 game in Steam. We wanna right click it. We wanna hit properties. And under compatibility, we want to set the force to use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool needs to be checked. And then we need to set this as Proton Experimental. And then once that's done, we can just close and then we can play the game, which will take a little while to launch. Just installing a few things because it's the first run. And just, just while we're waiting for this, it, uh, this is also applied to Yuri's Revenge. When you play uh, this game in uh, directly from Steam, it doesn't always give you the option to choose which one you want, but in gaming mode it does. I'm not really sure why um, it's not showing that option to choose which version you want, but it does work. And we just skip that. And there we go. We now have the menu where we couldn't see it before. Now it is shoved off into the corner a little bit, which is a little bit annoying, but that's just the side effect of getting this game working. It's still perfectly usable. Um, if you did want to uh, see the intro, um, you can find it from the Play Movies one if you really want to. Uh, but what I'd recommend you do is you go down to Options. And under Resolution, we want to drop that down until we find... 1024 by 600 and choose that and click OK. We get a slightly larger menu, which is easier to read. But if we go back and actually start a game, so we'll just do uh, skirmish. And we'll just start a game. Um, for some reason, um, Red Alert 2 defaults with a really, really high game speed. I'm not really sure why, so we'll just drop that down before we start. Otherwise, it'll be a bit crazy. So just stick that on three and hit start game. And here we have Red Alert 2. And as you can see, uh, because you've set that resolution, it actually fills the whole of the Steam Deck screen. And this isn't stretched. This is a um, native... Uh, aspect ratio so it uh, there's a, a resolution that the game does actually support um, it's just no it's not hidden it's hidden until we change uh, an option in that config file but yeah here we have red alert 2 running on the steam deck um, and uh, by default the trackpad controls 
uh, work straight out of the box, but I think there's some community profiles out there if you'd like to change them or you can set them yourself. And yeah, that's it. This is um, how you get Red Alert 2 working on the Steam Deck. Now I did promise that I would look at uh, CNC Net, which is a uh, mod you can install, which allows you to play Red Alert 2 online. And it also has some more advanced graphical features. I managed to get that working with the my old method of installing the game. I haven't had much success with the Steam version yet, but if I do manage to do that, I will come back and uh, do an updated video. And then very soon I'm going to be um, looking at Tiberian Sun and all of the other games, and I'll put guides up on how to get those working um, as and when I figure it out. I'd imagine it's going to be very similar to this process, but Tiberian Sun, for example, has a few little quirks that need... Uh, need ironing out so yeah i will come back with more videos on how to get the rest of the command and conquer games running on your steam deck but hopefully this one has been really useful for you uh enjoy playing the game and if you've got any questions or you get stuck on anything please just leave a comment below and i will do my best to help you thanks for watching